Welcome back, everyone. This is your Blue Devil News, and I'm Noelle. And I'm Jeffrey. Don't forget that Friday, March 5th is Asynchronous Day, and you will not come to LHS. Everyone will have an Achieve article to complete along with Alex's assignments for math. The Senior Night date has been announced, and it will be April 16th. So everyone do what you're supposed to do so it does not get canceled because of the virus. Prom is May 7th here on the soccer field, and it will be a night to remember. Tickets are $40 if purchased before March 26th and $50 after that. Tickets will not be sold after April 23rd. You may purchase them at the bank or online. Your books are still on sale for $90. Pre-orders have ended, so we are currently selling remaining stock and do not anticipate to have extras. We sold out last year and expect to do so this year. Orders can be placed using school cash or on yearbookforever.com. Senior makeup pictures have been rescheduled for March 15th. Senior superlative pictures will be Friday, March 5th. GSA will meet tomorrow at 3 o'clock in Miss Robertson's room at B213. If you're hungry or need a drink, FBLA is selling chips and drinks this weekend and the next between classes. Everything is $1. If you're needing help with math, Mr. Bergeron is available on Wednesdays and Thursdays after school in A104. Cumberland Dual Enrollment Interest Meeting will be on March 18th at 6 p.m. The swim team had another strong show last Friday night. Even with the depleted squad, the team still managed second place finish against Green Hill, Mount Juliet, Gallatin, Hendersonville, and HCA. We will be right back after the short clip from our cosmetology classes on hair care. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Hi, hey, I'm Richard. This is Cash. This is Miss Fry. Today we're going to be talking about four tips on how to keep your hair healthy. So the first tip is don't wash your hair every day. So Miss Fry? Yes, you do not want to wash your hair every day because your hair naturally produces oils. And when you are washing your hair every day, you're stripping those oils out of your hair and your hair needs those oils um, for a healthy scalp. So try to at least go every other day. Um, and then once you kind of train your hair to go every other day, then you can go maybe um, try to go every two to three days um, without shampooing your hair and just kind of see if you notice a difference with your hair is health. But definitely try to avoid shampooing your hair every single day. So for the hair thing, is it specifically different for every like person or is it like there's a set on how many days you shouldn't wash your hair? It totally depends. Um, you almost have to train your hair. Um, there are some people who say they have a really oily scalp and they are like, there's no way I can go, uh, you know, every other day without shampooing my hair. I have to shampoo my hair every day. And that's why we call it training your hair because you have to kind of get your scalp um, used to having all of that oil in its hair. Um, you can use dry shampoo. Dry shampoo is amazing dry. So the second tip is to Always use heat protectant. Yeah, so every time that you are putting heat on your hair, if you're using a flat iron, if you're using a curling iron or a wand, you always want to make sure that you have protectant on your hair to help prevent any damage. And also make sure you're not setting your tool on the highest heat setting. So if you have very fine, thin hair, you want it on a lower heat setting. If you have very coarse, thick, curly hair, um, you could bump it up a little bit. But always make sure before you blow dry your hair, before you curl your hair, flat iron your hair, that you are spraying a heat protectant uh, to help keep your hair from breaking off. Okay, and so for the third tip, what's like the most important thing with coloring your hair? So you want to be very careful with bleach because bleach over time can just snap your hair off. Um, that's why you want to be very careful when people do it at home. They don't necessarily know which developer to mix with it. Um, they don't know how long to leave it on there. And then they get in the shower and shampoo it out and their hair is just coming out in chunks or they notice they have severe breakage. So if you are definitely trying to grow out your hair or maintain the health of your hair, try to avoid bleach as much as possible. Um, color, on the other hand, if you're wanting to do like balayage, um, or an ombre color and you're wanting to use darker tones, that's not as bad. You still just want to make sure that you are kind of spreading out um, your application. So you're not getting your hair done every two to three weeks. Definitely try, if you want your hair colored or you're wanting bleach on your hair, try to go at least like every six or eight weeks before you reapply that color to your hair. Last tip is to check the ingredients. 
Yes, yeah, so whenever you're using shampoo, conditioner, um, it's obviously best to use salon in products um, because you know the ingredients on there are going to be safe for your hair. Um, but just always make sure you want to avoid sulfates. That's going to be the number one thing. Sulfates can strip the oils out of your hair. It can strip the color out of your hair. So always try to make sure you're finding a shampoo and conditioner that is going to be sulfate free on your hair. So, and I think that's all the tips we have for today. Yes. So thank you, Richard, and thank you, Cash, for helping us. And we'll see you next time. Wednesday, culinary students will compete in our annual pasta competition here at LHS against Wilson Central and Green Hill High School. This event is open for teachers and students and parents to come and cheer on your favorite chefs. Cooking starts at 530. Tennessee's Boys and Girls State is among the most respected and selected educational programs of the government instruction. This year it will be virtual with two different dates. Dates for girls will be June 1st through 4th and for boys May 25th through 29th. Please come to guidance and pick up a form from Ms. Reed. You must have a parking pass to park on campus. If you do not have one, there are applications outside of the bank and you may purchase a pass during lunch. If you lost your passes, replacement passes are $5 and also available at the bank during lunch. Please make sure your tag is properly displayed and visible and be sure you're in the correct spot that coordinates with your tag. The softball team is having a grab-and-go pancake breakfast on March 13th from 8 to 10 at Emanuel Baptist Church. Tickets will be $5 and you can buy your tickets now from any softball player or email Coach Atwood. The Lady Devilettes play the second round of regionals against Rossview tonight at 7 p.m. So come out and support the girls and the student section theme is USA. Congratulations to our boys basketball team for an amazing and fun season. If you want to watch any of our home games, remember that you can always go to our BDM Facebook page to see them. Also, congratulations to Ryan Wood and Eli Clemens for placing in the state wrestling tournament in Chattanooga this weekend. That's all the news we have today, LHS. I'm Noel. And I'm Jeffrey. And this has been news to you from, from the, the Wide Blue. blue.